Alright, this is a Grip the Top Commander. I'm Jared. And here we are going to play some um, Sworn to Darkness. Um, it is a 100% stock uh, Black Commander deck. Um, and we are facing up against. Ooh, Jehora. She is pretty good. And starting off the Mana Crypt is really scary. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Yeah, it's really scary indeed. Alright, our opening hand is... Well... It's kind of hurry to take it, but um, it's not all that great. I probably should have mulliganed it. That's scary. It's really going to turn one. Play that one down. It's pretty safe to cast that guy. Bad moon. If they countered it, then even better. Get rid of a counter. It's really scary. Lose a flip. Yay! We're winning. Drawing lands like a boss. Make counters on that thing. Six counters. <clears throat> lose, lose, lose. No blue mana for you. Ooh. Love to see that in the graveyard. Probably has some recursion. I'm only assuming. Or he's just not threatened at all by us. Which is pretty probably pretty legit. Now my question is Does this deep sea kraken have shroud? Nope, just unblockable. That's a good thing. It's here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. So bad. Six six. Two more counters. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's Lear. Yeah. So he has this coming out next turn. And so, with us not having lands, even him, he doesn't care, we're, we won't be able to answer it. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Mm. 
very unfortunate indeed. They have two mana open. That's good. Good thing is we do have some mana in our hands. That's not a bad thing. <clears throat> and it's going to take us two more turns to even get him out, which would be an answer to the Kraken. Providing he doesn't draw any blue mana to counter counter our our guy, our terror guy, terror and stick. Yeah, that's right. Red mana is okay. So it's going to come out swinging this turn. Yep. I don't know. We're not in that bad a, that bad a position. I don't know what he has in his hands. He probably has probably kept quite a few lands, I'm assuming. But if he's just banking on this to win him the game... Then we have a surprise for him. So we're going to take about 12 damage right now. Oh wait, no, I guess no. That's right. Jeez, we just miscounted. So I hope it's worth it, buddy. Decent. No blue mana. It's you for being greedy. Greedy bastard. You're getting beaten by a stock deck. No. He's, I'm sure he had plenty more shenanigans. What does this thing do? Once again, Infernal Offering. Oh, we don't want that, do we? Let this draw. Mm. No? Yeah, let's put this on the bottom. That on top. Oh, that's fine. Early land for the turn. One, two, mana. You got greedy. That's what happens. All right. Well, I'm next list. Um, did pretty good. I mean, well, the deck did decent, I guess. I mean, I don't know. He he got greedy. I mean, he he put all of his eggs in his basket to cast mm -hmm. this one guy with no with with neither of us having lands. But I mean, I mm -hmm. I had the command I had the command sphere commander sphere. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, as far as he knew, I mean, he could have a, a term. Um, you know, Doomblade or something. I wish would have drew one land and could have killed it. So being mono black, I don't. I think he took a high risk, and uh, Piet punished for it. I mean, normally with Jalira decks or Johora decks, excuse me, Johora decks, um, they're really good about you know blowing everything up, blowing up the lands, and then having all the 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 suspended cards come on in. But he he needed a backup plan. And he didn't have it, and so he got punished for it. So. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, Grip the Top Commander. Um, subscribe. Um, like. Give us some comments. I mean, I, I'm sure I had some, some misplays. You know, maybe instead of drawing cards, I could have played on Nick's list. You know, let me know that stuff. I'm okay with that, please. Um, all right, see you guys.